Live, we start with breaking news. Just moments ago, parts of I-75 South reopened after a tractor trailer fire in Cobb County. 11 Alive's Andrew Wilson joining us now. Andrew, what can you tell us? Faith and Jennifer, I want to get straight to the 11 Alive Sky Tracker. This is the view right now on I-75. This is going to be in Ackworth, the southbound lanes. You can see that crews are still trying to clean everything up. We had a uh, tractor trailer that actually caught fire there, and over the last two hours, they were able to put out the fire. They've hauled the tractor trailer away, but you see a lot of debris still on the road. Now I want you to notice where the uh, traffic is flowing through there. One lane is open. They're having to drive on the shoulder. It is very slow through there, even through that only one lane, and it looks like crews still have a while to go before they have everything cleared up. So let's talk about how to get around this again. This is going to be up into the Ackworth area right by Lake Alatoona. You can see traffic has been backed up all the way up towards Cartersville, so really far back on I-75. You want to make sure that you try to get around this uh, because with one lane being open, it's still not moving very fast, and there's a lot of traffic that they're trying to get through uh, for this region. The fire occurred right before exit 278 right at Glade Road. The best way to get around this is going to take Joe Frank Harris Parkway. Once you exit over there in Cartersville, that's also Highway 41. You want to take that down to the south. Then you could either continue on through Cobb Parkway, which may take you some time, or you could head north right here along Highway 92 going through Ackworth and then jumping back on I-75. We'll keep you updated as long as they're trying to get this cleared up and get traffic moving through there smoothly again. All right.